The cow hitch is probably the simplest hitch after the half hitch. It's a decent way to tie up an animal for a very short period of time, but has zero strength or staying power. Like any hitch, you'll need a post or a rail to tie up to. Start by making a loop over your bar. Take the working end and cross it over the loop. Take hold of the standing piece just past where you crossed over. Pass the working end behind the bar and over making a second loop. Now pull the working end down and through the standing piece. Now pull the standing end until it's tight. You can see how this knot could easily give with this modern synthetic rope on the slippery rod. There is, however, a quick safety that you can use with the cow hitch. With your working end, make a quick bite and pass it through the bottom of the cow hitch. This basically puts a lock on the hitch and it won't slip as easily. As usual, here's the review. Make a loop over the bar. Take the working end and cross it over the loop. Pass your working end back up, behind and over the bar. Pull the working end down and through the standing piece you're holding. To lock the hitch, pull that standing end up and under the two loops at the bottom of the cow hitch. The clove hitch is a simple hitch which is quick to tie and best used when hitching something with a pull in both directions. It's also often used to tie things temporarily due to its simplicity and speed. But this hitch cannot be relied upon to securely hold over long periods of jostling, so it's often used to only temporarily tie up animals and boats. It's also the primary knot in starting and ending lashings. The clove hitch can be tied in two different ways depending on its use. For tying a clove hitch to a post, make two identical loops in the rope with the tail end on top. Pass the right hand loop under the left. Place the loops over the top of the post. Tighten the knot by pulling on both ends of the rope. The clove hitch can also be tied to a tree or in situations that you can't simply place the loops over the top of the anchor. To tie a clove hitch using the end, Wrap the rope around the object and form an X with the free end on top. Next, wrap the end of the rope around the object once more. Tuck the end behind the X. And finally, pull both ends of the rope in opposite directions to set the hitch. The clove hitch does have a few downfalls. Firstly, under movement or when the direction of pull on either end of the rope slackens, the hitch can slip and come undone. Alternately, when rope used for the clove hitch gets wet, it seizes and becomes near impossible to get undone. The clove hitch is easy to tie, easy to adjust, but can also slip undone. If you need a more secure or permanent knot, there are other options, such as the bowline. The simplest knot for tying fishing line to a hook or leader is the clinch knot and is a very good knot when using monofilament line under about a 20 pound test. To tie the clinch, feed the working end through the hole in the hook or the swivel in the leader. Here we're going to demonstrate with a rope and ring so it's easy to see. Double back on the line about 3 or 4 inches. Taking the working end and the standing piece, make about 5 turns, in effect winding the line. Holding the wind in place so it doesn't unravel, take the working end and pass it through the end of the first loop right above the eye of the leader or the hook. Now simply pass the working end of the line back through the loop you've created. Holding the working end, tighten the coil down snug. You should have a few inches of line left over. Test your knot and clip off the excess. The clinch knot is great for quickly tying mono, but don't use it for catching bigger fish or when using braided line. To review, feed the working end through the hole in the hook or the swivel in a leader. Double back on the line about 3 or 4 inches. Take the working end and the standing piece make about 5 turns, in effect winding the line. Holding the wind in place so it doesn't unravel, take the working end and pass it through the end of the first loop, right above the eye of the leader or hook. Now to secure the knot, pass the working end back through the loop you formed in the last step. It's a good idea to lubricate the knot with a bit of water or saliva. This will help it slide into place properly. Holding the working end, tighten the coils down snug.